nearly 100 million pigs are killed every year for meat in the U.S. Viva filmed in three states to expose the conditions pigs are forced to endure. This is Georgia, and these are breeding sows, the mothers. And they will live in these tiny cages, gestation crates, for four to five years, almost their entire life. The stress of confinement takes a terrible toll. Constant repetitive bar biting is a sign of mental collapse. The sows go crazy. The desire to escape never diminishes. This barren cell is home for a breeding male. There's no escape from the stench of excrement. It's impossible to imagine what is going through this sow's mind as she is held captive. A milk machine covered in flies. When sows give birth, they simply swap one cage for another. This is called a farrowing crate. Cesspools of liquid excrement are a feature on all pig farms. They often lead to environmental disaster. Pigs are killed for meat at five or six months old. These barren slums are all they will ever know. No straw, nothing of interest, and unable to fulfill even their most basic instincts, such as rooting. Disease and death are commonplace. The stench of excrement is overpowering. Not surprisingly, nearly 40% of deaths are due to respiratory diseases. Boredom leads to aggression, and in an attempt to reduce it, tails are partially amputated and some teeth are crushed, without anesthetic. We also investigated some farms in North Carolina. This barren cell with its metal mesh floor is where piglets are housed when taken from their mothers at three weeks old. This early weaning is one reason for the constant death toll. There are 98,000 pig farms in the U.S., many of them just like this. In fact, over 80% of all pig meat comes from intensive systems. Death and disease are simply part of the system, despite a battery of antibiotics and other drugs. These highly intelligent animals have no welfare protection in federal law, and almost none under local statutes either. This desperately ill pig is wasting away, but who cares? Their dead and bloated cellmate is the only thing of interest. Death is simply a part of the system, and losses are built into the economics of it. How long this putrefying corpse has been here is anyone's guess. Again, how was this animal allowed to reach such a state of suffering? Presumably the same disregard that has left this animal to die without food, water or comfort. Intensive farming is everywhere. This is Northern California. And still more deaths. 
Who developed a system so lacking in humanity that it has reduced animals to mere commodities? And why do we let it continue? <laughs>